So what happens when the National Visa Center closes your case? This is a big question I get asked all the time and people are so worried and concerned about it. Is this the end of the world? Well, let's talk about it. Hello everybody and welcome back to Immigration Channel. This is where we explain complex immigration matters in short, simple videos. And in this video, we'll talk about what happens when the National Visa Center, NVC, closes your case for lack of action, what's gonna to happen to your case, how devastating is this? Before I'll talk about what you have to do in this case, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos, and also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to show this video to more people just like you. As always, if you have issues with the National Visa Center, with your interview, with any matters involving your immigrant visa, please send me a text 619-483-4549. I'd love to work with you. So let's talk about this. You're getting emails from the National Visa Center. You didn't respond. Maybe you missed a correspondence, an email, a letter, a document, a lot, requesting some kind of information from you or requiring you to pay some fees. Even if your priority date is not current, you haven't responded and guess what? After one year, they send you a termination notice. You've seen it, you know you did, and you are terrified about it. What are you gonna do? You should never ever ignore messages or notices from the National Visa Center or affiliated agencies. NVC will terminate your case under Section 203G of the Immigration and Nationality Act. If this happens and you don't take action, your petition will be shredded and you're gonna lose your priority date. This is devastating for people to be waiting for 10, 15, even 20 years. Because of such a mistake, you could lose your case. Visas is kind of like you wait at the DMV for your number. If you fail to appear when they call your number, they're gonna give you an appointment to somebody else and you're gonna have to go back to the end of the line. It's very similar to how the MVC works. Once the MVC sends you notice to pay fees or let you know that your, your visa is about to be available, if you don't respond, they'll just cancel your case and somebody else will get in line behind you. Now remember, this is true even if you are inside the United States. Remember, we have a lot of people who are currently in the United States, even without status. We had a case where a father petitioned his daughter, she was in the United States, unlawful. They received notices from NVC, but they thought it doesn't apply to them because she's in the United States. They ignored it and their case was canceled and she lost her priority date after waiting for so long. Now remember, if your case is being terminated, as soon as you receive this notice, please seek the advice of an attorney. What we can do is we can help you reinstate this. And this happens all the time. We do a lot of petitions to reinstate. We send a request to National Visa Center. We explain to them that it wasn't intentional and then they'll reinstate your petition. It'll put you back in the line. The case with NVC will continue. Remember, all you have to do, this is advice I'll give you, is that you need to contact the NVC at least once a year. Check on your case, complete the public inquiry form, send them an email. Any contact is good that shows NVC that you're still interested and they'll never cancel your case. The worst thing you can do is ignore their messages and not check on your case. So, put yourself in the calendar to check on your NVC case twice a year. You can do it in the summer and you can do it before the holidays. Very simple, put those reminders, complete the public inquiry form, this way you'll see. Log into your account at least once a year, log into the CAAC account. By doing that, you'll keep your case active even if you're inside the United States, even if you're undocumented, it doesn't matter. If you've been waiting all these years, do not let your National Visa Center case expire. But if it does expire, we can still save it, we can reinstate it if you do it fast enough and you're not gonna lose your place in the line. All right guys, so let me know if you have any questions about this. Post your comments below, let me know. And if you need help with your National Visa Center case, with your visa case, with your immigrant visa, send me a text, 619-483-4549. I'm here to help you.